whales are one of the most interesting and beautiful marine creatures on the planet. Sea turtle species come in many shapes, sizes, and colors, and have many fantastic and unique characteristics. They can migrate thousands of miles, dive to extreme depths, and live amazingly long lifespans. Please enjoy these 10 awe-inspiring facts about these graceful, entrancing, and endangered creatures. First, before we get started, I'd like to thank you for watching and invite you to subscribe to our channel. And please leave a comment below to suggest which animal we should cover next. One, there are seven species of sea turtle. Marine biologists believe that sea turtles first emerged more than 100 million years ago and lived alongside dinosaurs. Modern science recognizes seven distinct species of sea turtle. They are hawksbill, loggerhead, leatherback, olive ridley, kemp's ridley, green sea turtles, and flatbacks. All of the species besides the flatback are currently threatened with extinction and there's simply not enough information on the flatback sea turtle to know truly how at risk they are. Before we continue with the video, I want to invite you to participate in our sea turtle charity giveaway. To enter, simply like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below. We will select a winner each week for the next three weeks. Winners will have $50 donated in their name to a sea turtle conservation organization. If you win, you'll receive a donation certificate via email to show the world that you did your part to help sea turtles. Thank you and good luck. Now, let's continue the video. Two, green sea turtles are green because of their diet. Green sea turtles have a diet that differs from other sea turtles. Green sea turtles are herbivores, eating mostly seagrass and algae. This diet is what gives their cartilage and fat a greenish color, which is where their name comes from. Three, sea turtles spend almost all of their life in the ocean, but venture onto beaches to lay their eggs. When sea turtles lay their eggs, they first dig a nest in the sand with their rear flippers. Each group of eggs is called a clutch. They usually lay 100 to 125 eggs per nest and will nest multiple times, about two weeks apart, over several months. As soon as the eggs hatch, usually about two months after they are first laid, the hatchlings will dig out of their nest. This process takes them about two days. Once they emerge, the tiny turtles hurry to the sea and make their way offshore into the open ocean. Once in the water, baby sea turtles face many threats. They are a favorite food of seabirds and fish. Few will survive to adulthood, with estimates ranging from about one in 1,000 to one in 10,000. Of those few that survive though, they will become adults and will often live to be decades old. Four, sea turtles can live as long as humans. Baby sea turtles have a hard time making it to adulthood, but once they do, they can look forward to a very long natural life. Determining an actual age for any sea turtle is difficult but we know for a fact that they live a very long time. The oldest known living sea turtle is thought to have been 83 years old when it was found back in 2016. One deceased sea turtle specimen was thought to be over 100 years old when it washed ashore in the United Kingdom. Sea turtle lifespan varies by species, with flatback and loggerhead turtles often living to 70 to 80 years old. Olive ridleys and hawksbills can live to 60 years old. Leatherbacks are thought to have the shortest lifespans at around 50 years old but it's hard to know for sure. Regardless of how hard it may be to know the age of sea turtles, they definitely have an extraordinary lifespan. Just another remarkable attribute of these remarkable creatures. Five, leatherbacks are the biggest sea turtles and dive the deepest. Olive ridleys are the smallest sea turtles. They grow up to 28 inches long and can weigh up to 110 pounds. Kemp's ridleys are about the same size. Green sea turtles can weigh up to 870 pounds or 395 kilos. Flatbacks get up to about 100 kilos, about the same as hawksbills, while loggerheads can be about double that at 200 kilos. The leatherback is massive in comparison to other species. It can weigh up to 2,000 pounds or 900 kilos and measure from six to nine feet or two to three meters long. Its shell is strong and flexible like leather, thus its name. Leatherbacks can dive to a depth of more than 1,000 meters, 3,000 feet, in search of their favorite prey, jellyfish. That's deeper than some high-tech military submarines. The leatherback is adapted to deep dives because it lacks a rigid breastbone. Its leathery shell also absorbs nitrogen, reducing problems arising from decompression during deep dives and resurfacing. Other sea turtle species dive at shallower depths, typically up to 175 meters. 
though all of Ridley's have been recorded at over 200 meters deep. 6. Some sea turtles travel over 10,000 miles, or 16,000 kilometers a year. Most sea turtles migrate between foraging and nesting grounds, and seasonally to warmer waters. Often these migrations take them hundreds and even thousands of miles. With satellite telemetry, scientists can track the movements of sea turtles between areas, and even across entire oceans. Leatherback sea turtles are among the most highly migratory animals on Earth, traveling as many as 10,000 miles or more each year between foraging grounds in search of their favorite food, jellyfish. In the Atlantic, they go from Caribbean beaches, up the U.S. East Coast, all the way to Canada. In the Pacific, many go from Southeast Asia, all the way to California, and then up to Alaskan waters. Loggerheads born in Japan migrate almost 8,000 miles to the rich waters off Baja, Mexico, and California. There, they will feed and mature. Once they have reached sexual maturity, they migrate back to Japan to breed and nest. In February 2020, a sea turtle named Yoshi was tracked from Australia all the way to the waters of Angola on Africa's eastern coast and back, a record trip of over 22,000 miles. Seven, different sea turtle species have vastly different diets. Oxbill's favorite food are sea sponges. They eat on average 1,200 pounds of sea sponges a year. Loggerheads have powerful jaws for cracking shellfish with extremely hard shells, like whelks and conchs. Green sea turtles prefer eelgrass and algae, while Olive and Kemp's Ridleys are omnivorous. They feed on a wide variety of food items, including algae, lobster, crabs, tunicates, and mollusks. Leatherback turtles are often known as gelatinivores, meaning they only eat invertebrates, such as jellyfish and sea squirts. They'll even dive thousands of feet deep to feast on the giant jellyfish of the deep. Flatbacks like jellyfish too, but also eat sea cucumbers and soft corals. In fact, flatbacks are the least picky of the sea turtles. This species will eat everything from seaweed to shrimp and crabs. The lives of young sea turtles are a mystery to us. The first few years of a sea turtle's life are known as the lost years. When sea turtle hatchlings first hatch from their eggs and venture into the sea, they are extremely hard to keep track of and study. We don't know what they are up to or how they're doing until they finally return to shallow coastal waters 10 to 20 years later. The lost adolescent years of sea turtles that they spend almost exclusively in the open ocean remain a mystery to us. Sea turtles always return home. Female sea turtles always return to the same beach they hatched on to lay their own eggs and bury them in sand nests. Their ability to seemingly magically navigate thousands of miles around the world and still somehow find their way back to the exact spot they hatched may seem like a superpower. Scientists believe it actually comes from their extreme sensitivity to the Earth's magnetic fields. It's almost like they have a compass inside their brains. Sea turtles are fantastic and beautiful creatures, but they are endangered. Being accidentally caught in commercial fisheries and entanglement in marine debris like fishing nets and plastic bags are serious threats to sea turtles, as well as the destruction of beach habitat. They're also harvested and poached for meat and eggs, and even boat strikes threaten sea turtle populations. Few studies have been conducted to accurately track sea turtle populations, but those that have range from concerning to encouraging. According to research, many of the nesting leatherback populations in the Pacific have declined more than 80% in the last 100 years. The Kemp's Ridley is the most endangered sea turtle species. In 1942, the nesting population at Rancho Nuevo, Mexico, which is the only nesting area for the species, was estimated at about 42,000 Kemp's Ridleys. After rapidly declining to a low of less than 300 nesting females in 1986, the Kemp's Ridley population is now estimated at 5,000 adult females in the Gulf of Mexico. Trends are unclear for many other nesting populations, although they seem to be increasing at nesting beaches in the U.S. and at some Caribbean nesting sites. If you want to help sea turtles, there are many organizations that do great work to help sea turtles in the wild. These include GoEco.org and the Oceanic Society. Getting involved with these organizations is a great way to help sea turtle populations stay afloat. That concludes this video, and as always, thank you for watching, be sure to like the video, and subscribe to our channel for more.